sixth grade, module four, lesson 25, problem set. Find the solution to each equation. Number one, four to the third power is equal to y. We wanna know what we can put in place of y to make this statement true. So four to the third power is the same as saying four multiplied by itself three different times. So that would look like four times four times four which will be equal to four times four is 16, and 16 times four is 64. So y must be equal to 64. Number two, eight a is equal to 24. So eight times what is equal to 24? Well, eight times three is equal to 24, so that means that a must equal three. Number three, 32 is equal to g minus four, where 32 is equal to what minus four. So something minus four will be equal to 32. So what is, what is four more than 32, basically would be 36. So g is equal to 36. 56 is equal to j plus 29. So 56 is equal to what plus 29? So something plus 29 equals 56. So I'm gonna do 56 minus 29 to figure out what this missing part could be. So we gotta borrow. 16 minus nine is seven, four minus two is 27 or four minus two is two, which would be 27. So here J is equal to 27. And if you wanna check, 27 plus 29 should be equal to 56. Number five, 48 over R is equal to 12. Or 48 divided by what is equal to 12? 48 divided by four is equal to 12, so r is equal to four. Number six, k is equal to 15 minus nine. So what is 15 minus nine? Well, 15 minus nine would be six, so k is equal to six. Number seven, x times one-fifth is equal to 60, or one-fifth, I, for some reason it makes more sense if I write it like this, one-fifth of something is equal to 60, which you can do because the commutative property of multiplication. So we can switch their places and it's the same thing. So one-fifth of something is equal to 60. So in other words, we just need to multiply 60 by five and we would, f and we can get that answer. So 60 times five would be equal to 300 because six times five is 30 plus a zero is 300. So X is equal to 300. Letter M, M plus three and 45 hundredths is equal to 12 and eight tenths. So something plus three and 45 hundredths gets us 12 and eight tenths. So we can subtract three and 45 hundredths here, and then that means we can subtract three and 45 hundredths from the other side. So let's do 12 and eight tenths minus three and 45 hundredths. And remember from fifth grade, it's really important. You have to line up the decimal point. If your place values aren't aligned, you're gonna get the wrong answer. Okay, so we can't do zero minus five. But 10 minus five is five, seven minus four is three, bring down our decimal point. Can't do two minus three, but 12 minus three is nine. So we get nine and 35 hundredths. So M, nine and 35 hundredths plus three and 45 hundredths would be equal to 12 and eight tenths. And then the last one, A is equal to one to the fifth power. So one to the fifth power is saying that you multiply one by itself five different times. So it'd be one times one times one, there's three, four, five, which one times one 
doesn't matter how many times you're going to multiply 1 by itself, you are going to keep getting 1. So a is equal to 